Athena. And I'm Randa. When we were little, we made lots of home movies with our family and friends. Some of those home movies were for school projects. Right around this time, we were learning all about the Olympics, so everyone was like writing papers, doing arts and crafts on the Olympics, so we were like, our family was like, let's make a film. The film stars us, it stars our friends and family, Kendall and Kylie were in it, um, we teachers even, were in it. We even got the principal to be in it and our neighbor. It was just a blast to make. So how old were we when we made this again? We were, we were in fourth grade, so we were 10. Wow, many years ago. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get into it. Throughout all time, there have been those individuals whose powerful leadership has changed the course of history. Pericles, who helped bring democracy to ancient Greece. Mahatma Gandhi, who taught people to achieve justice through nonviolent methods. Susan B. Anthony, who was instrumental in giving American women the right to vote. Howard, Anne, and Mick, who have enlightened and inspired thousands of young people. And we will never forget the contribution of one certain person. Calliope, Calliope, are you listening to me? Yes, Delia, I'm hanging on every word. Hmm. Let's continue our discussion on how best to serve your future husbands. Let's say your husband has just come home from a long, hard battle. What is the first thing you would do? Norella. Offer to clean his shield? Very nice. Ophira. Bathe his feet in sweet-smelling oils? That is beautiful. Calliope. Tell him to take a bath because he stinks? <laughs> no. You're going to have to do something about your attitude because in just three short years, you are going to be married to Demetrius. Demetrius. <laughs> now, let's talk about preparing your husband's favorite meal. Let's begin with breakfast. You know, I don't really like to cook. Can't my husband make his own food? <laughs> For breakfast, we can have grapes and cereal and honey cake. Why can't we play in the Olympic Games? I like to run too. For lunch, we could have olives and bread and cheese. Why can't we eat dinner with the men? Why can't we vote? Calliope, I just don't have the answers to all your questions. Well, then I'm going to somebody who does. I'm visiting the Oracle. <gasps> Calliope, wait, wait. Take this, you may need it. And may the protection of Hera be upon you. Bye. Thank you. The Oracle of Delphi gave advice to the Greeks for over 1,000 years. People traveled for months from all over Greece just to hear her speak. Because Calliope had never been away from her village, she decided to take the scenic route. And on her journey, she saw the Parthenon, which has stood atop the Acropolis of Athens for nearly 2,500 years. It was built to give thanks to Athena, the city's protecting goddess, for the salvation of Athens and Greece in the Persian Wars. The Theater of Dionysus was where many of the famous Greek plays were first performed. The Erechtheion, which owes its name to Erechtheus, who was a local hero and legendary king of Athens. It is also on the Acropolis. Olympia, which was until 426 AD, where they held the Olympics. And someday, I'll be there. Do you have an appointment? No. No, I don't, but... Come back when you do. Excuse me, Oracle. I've traveled a long way to talk to you. Everyone does. I need answers to my questions. Well, 
I have an answer to one of your questions, but not both. How will I know which one to ask? By asking! Why can't I play in the Olympic Games and vote? That's actually two questions, but they have the same answer. Why? Because you're a girl. But that's not fair. Why? Because I'm a girl. That's the question I don't have the answer for. There is another who has the answer you seek. Who? I really need to know. Zeus. Zeus is the leader of the gods and god of the sky and the thunder. But he's on Olympus. No one ever goes there. I can give you something to help you on your journey. What, wings? No, wisdom. <laughs> you may go now. I guess we're going to Olympus. Oh goody, a road trip. But first, let's do something about that hair. Mount Olympus is the home of the gods. This child is trouble. She is trying to upset the whole order of things. Zeus is not happy. Well, she is a force to be reckoned with. Her teacher, though, has asked for my protection. We'll see about that. Hermes! Hermes is the messenger of the gods. Deliver this to Eros immediately. Eros is the god who is in charge of love. Great me. Message from Zeus. Vacation over. We have a situation. The girl Calliope must not reach Olympus. You know what to do. Tell Zeus I could even make her fall in love with Demetrius. You really are totally useless, aren't you? I'm gonna rest. I'll call him Rocky. Would you please get rid of that stupid rock? No, never! He's my love, my hero, my everything. For some reason, the arrows of Eros won't touch Calliope. But all kinds of other people fall in love who shouldn't. Antony and Cleopatra, Romeo and Juliet, Ben and J-Lo. Was Hera interfering with Zeus's plans? Hera is the goddess of marriage and married to Zeus. Hera watches and protects all women. Get me off! Hey -oh! No, no, no! Hey -oh! Hey -oh! <laughs> oh no, harpies! No, no, no. Harpies are thieves that can steal food right out of your hands. Help! Help! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I mean, they had me pinned for hours. No problem, sir. What do you call yourself? Uh, Hercules. Hercules is the strongest man in the world. <laughs> I'm Calliope. Oh, really? Those harpies, they are vicious. Yeah, nasty. <sighs> Say, we're going to Olympus. Do you know the quickest way? Well, I, I, I'd be honored to help you, but first, let me thank you for helping me out in that situation. And please take this as a token of my esteem. Thanks. What is it? Uh, it it's just a little thing I picked up when I uh, won the Olympics. Don't you think girls should play in the Olympics, too? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
If what you're looking for is over there, over that way. <laughs> the modern Olympic Games were founded in 1894. Women participated for the first time in 1900. I don't understand why the Oracle gave you to me. Maybe I should continue my journey alone. birds are fierce and deadly man-eating birds with feathers made of iron. Very bad, eh, what? The worst. Let's get back to work. Calliope, now very sad, had no choice but to continue on alone. Here, what should I do? You guys aren't satyrs, are you? Satyrs are half-man, half-beast nature spirits who haunt the woods and mountains, can be dangerous. So, are you coming to Olympus with me? You bet! But there's still a lot of dangerous stuff out there. We're lucky we have Rocky. Yeah, right. Calliope and Sophie continued on without incident until... Did you hear that? Is it running water? <laughs> it's Medusa! <laughs> Medusa is a gorgon, who are vicious female monsters with sharp fangs and hair of poisonous snakes. And if you look at her, she's turning into stone! Here, run, I'll take care of this. Snakes. That is so ancient history. Quickest way to Mount Olympus? The shortcut is right that way. Take it with my blessing. Thank you. You're welcome. See you later. It seems that Calliope will not be dissuaded. Eros! Eros! Get over!
over here. You, you have failed me. Get back to your cloud and no girls. Don't make me use this thing. Who dares to enter the home of the gods? It is I, Calliope. I'm so and Rocky, and Rocky. We seek your counsel. Go back to your village. I will not. I want answers to my questions, and you're going to give them to me. Go ahead and ask. Why can't we play in the Olympic Games and vote? Because I say so. Well, then say something else. She makes a good point, Zeus. After all, Calliope has shown herself to be brave, kind, smart, and resourceful. It's time for a change. And you, my dear, what is your heart's desire? Yes, and I went to Mount Olympus too. Ooh. Did you find what you were looking for? Well, sort of. I had some battles, oh. saw some cool places, brought back the spirit, got Zeus to let girls play in the Olympic Games, and we're going to be able to vote. I also don't have to marry Demetrius! Yay! Uh. You've done well. I'm very proud of you. Come on, everybody, let's party! Now it's time for my wish to come true. away from me. D don't point that in my direction. No! A couple of thousand years later, women were finally able to vote and play in the Olympics thanks to the heroism of that brave soul, Calliope. We have lots more. Leave it in the comments and give it a thumbs up. We do not look good with short hair. Yeah. These are the same wigs that they actually wore in the video. We still have them 12, 12 years later. later. Subscribe and we will see you next video. Bye!